In this video, I will give an explanation and some examples of why the ancient Mayan language was an alarm language and why the alarm sounds in the Mayan language increased motivation and drive in the Mayan people, allowing them to create a highly organized, productive and innovative civilization. So let's have a look at alarm sounds in nature and then let's compare these alarm sounds to the alarm sounds found in ancient Maya language. The first example is an alarm or distress call produced by a magpie bird. Next we have a distress call or alarm sound produced by a rat. The next example of a distress call or alarm call is that of a koala. And the final example is that of a cotton-tail rabbit. We can see that the distress or alarm sounds have a lot of similarity to that of a human cry or scream. And here is an example of a human scream. When listening to or when producing distress or alarm calls, we become somewhat distressed or alarmed ourselves. In fact, alarm or distress calls automatically prepare us for fight or flight, where a person or animal becomes more alert, focused and attentive to the environment. Here we have an example of such behavior in a deer, where it's listening to distress calls. And you can see how its head is raised so it can see better. Ears are also raised to focus on the sounds. Its eyes are widely open to maximize its vision and its movements are nervous and very alert. The question then is, did such distress or alarm calls exist in ancient Maya language? The simple answer is yes, they did exist in less extreme form. So normal alarm or distress calls sound like ah, e, ow, ai, a, an. However, the less intense version of these distress or alarm calls are A, E, AU, I, A, AN. So let's look at some examples of ancient Maya words where there are these types of alarm sounds. Please note that the alarm sounds are marked in red. The first example is the word hab, meaning year. In this word, we have the long ah sound, which is the alarm or distress sound. Ah, 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 ah. The second example is the word Chan, meaning sky, and the part of the word that is the alarm or distress part is An, where the A is followed by the N sound, 
which acoustically is also a valve-like sound. So the alarm or distress part is an, 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 an. The third example is the word cal, meaning 20. And the part of the word that is the alarm or distress part is al, where the a is followed by the l sound, which acoustically is also a valve-like sound. So the alarm or distress part is al, 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 al. The fourth example is the word ahau, meaning lord or king. In this example, the ao sound is the alarm or distress part. Ao, 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 ao. No! Ancient Mayan also had more intense alarm sounds as well. What is meant by more intense alarm sound is alarm sounds which are produced when there is more distress or higher danger. For instance, when one is experiencing a little distress or danger, one would make sounds like ow, ah, ooh, oom. When the distress is more intense or more dangerous, then the sound produced would be more like ah, oh, I, oom. The Proto-Mayan had such intense alarm sounds. Firstly, they had long valve followed by lateral sounds or nasal sounds, making the distress sound longer. Here we have an example of such a word, keen, meaning sun, where the alarm or distress part is in, 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 in. Secondly, ancient Mayan further increased the intensity of alarm quality by adding a high or low tone to the long valves. For instance, the word mul, meaning pyramid, has a long oo sound produced in a higher tone. The intense distress sound in this case is the entire word. Mul, 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 mul. Jasil Chan Kawil, the Yaks Nun Ain, also known as Curl's Nose, who died in 420. As one can see, ancient Maya language had a large number of words with alarm or distress parts in them. And it's hard to believe, but these sounds were the driving force, the spirit, the energy of the ancient Mayan people. It made the ancient Maya focused, attentive, curious, just like the deer is in the following video, more focused, attentive, and alert to danger when listening to alarm sounds. Maya were one of the first ancient people to develop a written language, use modern mathematical methods. They were considered one of the great advanced civilizations with hyper-advanced astronomy, astrology, trigonometry, uh, architecture. Then the Mayas mysteriously started abandoning their once grandiose cities and disappearing into the surrounding rural areas. So far, archaeologists and historians have not found a clear explanation as to why this happened. It appears that the high points of the Maya and other Mesoamerican civilizations occurred when they built their cities and created different aspects of art and culture. 
During these high periods, it appears that the societies spoke alarm languages with more intense alarm sounds. On the other hand, when the low points of the Maya and Mesoamerican civilizations occurred, these were the periods where there were famines and there was chaos, and the society often reverted to more desperate measures, such as trying to please their gods with human sacrifices. These were the times where Maya people spoke languages that have lost some or most of the intense alarm qualities in their languages. The question that arises in our time is, would Maya people become highly prosperous, advanced and industrious if they were to introduce the Maya language as the official first language and if they adopted the more intense alarm sounds as existed in ancient Mayan languages? I believe that the answer is absolutely yes with the adoption of the Maya language and the more intense alarm sounds, the Maya society will regain the energy, drive and focus to become a prosperous and advanced economy and it would also become cultural and innovation leader of the world. If you would like to investigate this idea a little bit more closely, please check one of my book versions on the topic. Evolutionary Alarm Sounds Within Languages is the first version. Frighten the World into Prosperity is the second version. Motivate Poor Countries to Develop is the third version.